Like everyone, <laughs> I'm feeling concerned regarding the COVID-19 situation. However, trying to maintain a positive attitude. I, along with my work colleagues, are vigilant in the school environment in terms of hygiene and social distancing. It is difficult to maintain social distancing in the school environment and important to make a conscious effort. I understand that I am fortunate to remain employed and my sincere thoughts go out to those workers who are now unemployed. Many of us are feeling a sense of heaviness in this time of uncertainty. However, are subsequently growing further as a team. I realise the importance of simply taking a few minutes in the workplace to share our thoughts in this unsettling time and empathise with others. The staff at my school are now working from home on a roster basis to assist in social distancing and minimise the risk of exposure. Our teachers have implemented an online mode of student learning, as have many schools. SAS staff continue to provide essential support to the teaching staff and to parents and students contacting the school via phone for assistance. The growth in technological skills is evident as we move to Zoom staff meetings and the use of programs such as Google Drive. There is a strong focus on shared learning and forward planning more than ever before due to the unknown times ahead. SAS staff, particularly those on temporary contracts and a casual status, have expressed strong feelings of anxiety regarding employment security, whilst other SAS staff have been reportedly overlooked when work at home rosters have been developed or in fact directed to be on site. Many members are feeling vulnerable and understandably when considering an example of 37 parents and staff and 25 students visiting one school office in a morning. Seven sick children sent home and three waiting in the sick bay to be collected. A total of 72 people visited that school office on that day. I was talking with an SLSO recently who described his experience in a high school located in a community with varying levels of internet access. Subsequently, all staff were working to capacity to prepare hard copies in addition to online resources for use in digital classrooms. The SAS staff were commencing work at 7am over a period of three days to complete what would have normally been a term's worth of printing using approximately 45 boxes of paper. Six SLSOs sorted six years of classwork documents for 530 students. Multiple subjects across five of those years required being distributed in class lists, taking two and a half days of what was described as seriously flat out work. The team considered themselves fortunate as three had been working together for over 10 years and are highly organised. The major difficulty was maintaining a safe social distance. On the Friday morning, parents and students arrived at that school to collect the packages while the SAS staff team was still frantically sorting and wrapping. To minimise further social contact, teachers assisted in distributing packages. This practice continued again on the following Monday and Tuesday. SAS staff statewide are communicating via network email, Zoom and Yammer in an endeavour to share their response to the impact of COVID-19 and feelings of vulnerability. Information including working from home task lists and links to professional learning opportunities has been shared. Simple suggestions for working at home without the option of a double screen and ideas to maintain social distancing in the administration environment have been appreciated. One school administrative manager who is fortunate to have adequate toilet paper suggests a packet is useful as a footrest, of course, conforming with ergonomic principles. And again, simply the opportunity to share feelings of uncertainty and to receive a response of understanding and compassion is valued. The school's departmental committee unanimously endorsed a recommendation that the New South Wales Government and the Department of Education 
should implement closure of schools to follow the UK model, open only to students and families working in essential services. PSA is most concerned for our members who work as learning support officers in close proximity with students and frontline school administrative officers who deal directly with members of the public. All staff should be provided with the opportunity to work from home on a rotational basis, to comply with social distancing requirements and to minimise the risk of exposure. It is also important to ensure all staff, including all classifications of SAS staff, feel valued in their work and are provided with meaningful work and job satisfaction. The department has provided schools with the required flexibility to allow teaching and non-teaching staff to deliver work on and off the work site. It is an expectation that in the coming days, schools will be able to adopt a flexible workplace roster for their staff while ensuring the continuity of school operations. The department has recently issued interim advice to schools that long-term temporary school administrative and support staff engagements will continue to operate for the duration of the current engagement, subject to satisfactory performance, conduct and operational reasons. Similarly, all current temporary engagements for business managers, general assistants and farm assistants will continue to operate for the duration of the current engagement, again, subject to satisfactory performance, conduct and operational reasons. Funding support for students with disability, staffing establishment and principal support allocation continues. Schools should therefore be able to continue to employ long-term temporary and short-term temporary as usual. When the COVID-19 crisis ends, the school will need a full complement of their loyal and experienced staff to resume operations. The department is currently contacting all schools to ensure adequate supplies of hand sanitizer and soap. We encourage our members to practice sound hygiene and contact the department if experiencing critical shortage in supply. Please remember to stay safe practice social distancing, and if you as a member have any issues, do not hesitate to contact the PSA as we are here to help you. Thank you.